वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डैड ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक इन दिस वीडियो एंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू रजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर लॉजिक एंड इन दैट वी हैव सीन सम डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ आर टी एल फैमिली दो डिसएडवांटेजेस आर लोअर नॉइस मार्जिन लोअर फैन आउट स्लोअर स्पीड एंड हाई पावर डिसिपेशन and because of that we don't use rtl in recent integrated circuits now see diode transistor logic that is having improved fan out and improved noise margin i'll show you at last how it is providing improved fan out and improved noise margin and because of that we use diode transistor logic so to understand diode transistor logic let us have dtl nand gate and then we will see it's working so here one can see we have vcc power supply after that here i am going to connect biasing resistance rc and here i am going to connect biasing resistor r now here we have transistor q1 and we are taking output from here so that is my output y now with this q1 here we are connecting one more biasing resistor like this and then here we are having two diodes that is biasing diode you see i am connecting over here let us say this is d1 and this is d2 and here we have inputs so here i am connecting two diodes you see and here we are giving our input now let us say this is input a and input b and let us say this is diode da and let us say this is diode db and this is connected to ground now if you want to increase number of inputs then here one can easily have further circuit connection and we can have connection of few more inputs let us say this is input x and this is diode dx but for functioning purpose i'll just consider this two input right so this is how complete circuit is there with diode transistor logic nand gate now let us try to understand working of this with respect to truth table so here in truth table we have input a and b and our output is y now here i'll consider a digital logic so here input combinations are 0 0 0 1 10 and 11 1. and we will see how our output is appearing now let us see the first case in which a and b that is 0 0 so as if a and b that is 0 0 you see this is vcc supply that is coming over here so as this is 0 0 you will be finding this da and db that will come in forward bias as potential difference in between this two terminal and this two terminal that is happening in forward bias you can observe so d a and d b that will come in forward bias and as d a and d b that is coming in forward bias you can say this d1 and d2 that does not have forward biasing and as this two are in reverse bias base current to this q1 that will be minimum and as base current to this q1 is minimum this q1 will be off and as if this q1 is off this output y that will be vcc and vcc means active high signal so here our output will be logic 1 as if input is 0 0 now let us see the second case where a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 1 so as if a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 1 one can say this da that will come in forward bias and db that will come in reverse bias 
but as da is in forward bias this d1 and d2 that will stay in the reverse bias as da in forward bias so as these two are in the reverse bias base current to q1 that will be zero that one can say ideally and as this q1 is off our output that will happening as per vcc so that is active high so one can say output is one now let us consider third case where a and b that is there with one and zero so as a is one and b is zero this da that will be there there in reverse bias and db is there in forward bias so this vcc that is having this path so d1 and d2 that will stay in reverse bias and as these two are in the reverse bias base current to this q1 will be minimum that will make this q1 off and as this is off our output is happening as per vcc like this and that is active high so we can say this is logic 1 now in fourth case a and b that is 1 1 so if both are 1 1 d a and d b that will stay in the reverse bias now see if these two are in the reverse bias this vcc will find path in this way that will make this d1 and d2 on means in forward bias as d1 and d2 is there in forward bias base current to this q1 that will trigger this q1 and that will turn it on and as if it is on our output voltage that will be vc voltage and vc is 0 0.2 in case of q1 is on so 0 0.2 means logic 0 that one can say so this truth table that indicates this circuit is NAND gate circuit. So its symbol is like this. You can see this is A, this is B and that is what we give it to this NAND gate and this is my output Y. So this is the basic truth table which is there with this DTL. Now there should be question like why do we have this D1 and D2? So see, when you provide input A and B, at that time VCC is having supply over here at this point. And as if this is 0, 0, in that case, as voltage drop across DA or DB, that will be 0 0.6 voltage it will trigger this diode right and if you see this path then in this path see this d1 d2 and here base emitter junction so that is having a requirement of 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 potential drop so that is having a requirement of 1.8 voltage right so what happens it will trigger this diode rather to trigger 1.8 voltage it will trigger 0.6 voltage first so here noise margin of this circuit is getting improved because of this d1 and d2 connection over here so that is how by this circuit we improve noise margin compared to rtl family which we have seen it in my previous video but this circuit is having some disadvantages like this circuit is having lower speed and this circuit is having resistive components so you will be finding there is power dissipation as heat so these are the disadvantages which is there with dtl logic family i hope you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are motivating me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will solve your queries